Konnichiwa! <laughs> well, today we're going to be making okonomiyaki. It's a really good dish. It's one of my favorite Japanese dishes. It's really easy to prepare, especially if you're on a budget. This is one of the best dishes to make. So let's go ahead and get started. For your batter, you need one egg. So we're going to crack an egg into the bowl. You need one cup of flour. And um, if you want to, you can use wheat flour. And then we need half a cup of dashi. And dashi is basically just a fish, a type of fish stock. And now if you don't have dashi on, on hand, and I know a lot of people don't have that ready available to them at their local supermarkets, you can substitute that with chicken stock or you can do a, a chicken bouillon cubes, which that's what we're going to do ahead, go ahead and do today. Or you can substitute it with water. So we're going to go ahead and get half a cup of water. And we're going to put our chicken broth in there. And we'll go ahead and stir, give that a stir. And for those of y'all who don't know what okonomiyaki means, it means uh, however you like it. It's um, a lot of people call it it's a Japanese style pizza. So that's all mixed together. We're going to go ahead and set that to the side. Okay, well the next thing we're going to do is cut our cabbage. So we've already washed our cabbage. We're going to go ahead and take off um, either the first couple leaves off just where they're bruised. We're not going to use those. And what you want to do with your cabbage, you want to chop it up very finely. College student on a budget, this might be a great dish to make for yourself or with the economy the way it is nowadays, I know everybody's looking away to save some money. So this is a really economical um, dish to make or prepare on a Friday night instead of going out to eat. So we're going to go ahead and take our cabbage and mix it in with our batter. And after you get done mixing it, you're just going to go ahead and set it to the side. So the next thing we're going to do, go ahead and do is we've already washed our vegetables and our produce and we're just going to go ahead and cut that up in small pieces. And uh, in the back where our wok is, we're going to go ahead and preheat the oven or the stove top. want to make sure you have a well seasoned either cast iron skillet a wok or just a flat iron uh, non-stick skillet. And we're going to go ahead and cut our vegetables. Go ahead and cut our mushrooms first. Make one sure make sure you want to take um, the stems off. Just pull them off. They're real tough. And we're just going to go ahead and slice these mushrooms. Don't throw your stems away to your mushrooms. They make a great stock. You can make a mushroom soup out of it. So I always save mine and um, okay, set those mushrooms off to the side. Um, we're going to go ahead and take our carrot next. Cut off the ends because we don't want those. Cut those in half. If you can't use a knife, well, remember, use adult supervision. This is a great dish to get kids to to liking vegetables. I know it's a hard time of getting kids to eat vegetables and liking them. Well, this is a great dish to hide it in. Uh, thickest things. These are going to take the longest to cook. We're going to go ahead and put those on the wok right now. So our wok is heated to medium heat and we're, we're going to go ahead and add just a little sesame oil just for flavor. And if you don't have sesame oil, um, you could add some canola oil or olive oil, whichever you prefer. Just a little, but I like sesame. And we're going to go ahead and start pan uh, cooking those. So we're just going to leave that on there until it starts cooking some. We're going to go ahead and cut our green onions next. And green onions are another dish, another vegetable that's really cheap. They're really cheap to get in the store. So use as many as you like. We're using three stalks. Um, if you don't have green onions on hand or you can't find them in your supermarket, you could go always use um, onions instead. I like yellow onions. You could use white if you want. Or maybe even if you have a leek on hand. Now this is a really big squash, so we're only going to use half of this, but um, if you have two small, if you have a small one, you can go ahead and use that. We're only going to use half of ours. Cut these in half. 
And the reason why I'm cutting these in half is it just makes it easier so that the vegetables doesn't roll around on you. Ah, oh, man, smells good back there. Okay, so last for a zucchini. Maybe your grandma does um, gardening or your mom does gardening or you yourself do gardening. This is a great, great way to util utilize all your vegetables and your produce. Next, um, we're going to go ahead and take our meat. And you can use whatever you want. Maybe you prefer, um, to, but today we're going to be using um, some bacon that we have and we have some pork. So we're going to go ahead and slice that up. We're gonna, this is our bacon we're slicing real thin. And we're going to go ahead and slice our pork real thin. And if you don't like pork, you could use beef, you could use chicken, um, you could use shrimp, or if you're a vegetarian, you could omit all the meat itself and just make a, a vegetarian dish. And we're just going to go ahead and cut the, the pork real thin too. We're not going to use this fat part. Um, it's a little unhealthy. Try to keep this on the healthy side. I found that if your meat is semi-frozen or frozen when you're cutting it, it's a little easier to cut. So we're going to go ahead and take this and take it over to the wok. So come join us. Here we go. So we're going to add that to our wok. Get out a stir. You see our carrots are cooking nicely. And this won't take long to cook. You're just wanting to brown uh, your meat some. And while you're cooking your pizza, the rest of the meat will cook. And we're going to go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients. The rest of our other vegetables that we have. Oh, there's one more ingredient that I forgot to add to our bag. This is some chili paste. I like my um, pizza to be just a little tad spicy. You don't have to add this if you don't want to, but I like the little kick that it gives. So we're going to go ahead and add, add just a little chili paste into it. And mix that up. So now we're just going to add this to the top. And if you have other vegetables that you like, you can add those in there. These are just what we had on. You could add potatoes if you want. You could add um, broccoli. You could add peas. You're going to let this cook for about 5 to 10 minutes on each side. And then when it's ready to flip, we're going to go ahead and flip it over. So we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. And when we be back, we should be ready to go ahead and flip that pizza. So come join us. Welcome back. Well, we just have a couple more minutes. So in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and make our two sauces for this. Now, I know this dish calls for okonomiyaki sauce, or you can use tonkatsu sauce. But I've found that you can't always find that in the supermarket. What we're using is we're using some hoisin sauce instead. So we have our hoisin sauce, and we have some mayonnaise. You can We're using light mayonnaise. You can use um, mayo if you want. You could use the regular stuff, but we're trying to keep this a little healthy. And one way that we do that is we're going to add some water to this to dilute it. And this just makes it to where the mayonnaise is a little thinner, and you can put it over all over all your pizza, but you're not getting as many calories. I like to do this with salad dressings as well. Feel free to do that to those. Add just a little to this. We're going to go ahead and flip our pizza now. You want to make sure you get all the edges so it doesn't stick. Flip it over. And then just flip it over like that. Okay. Okay, well, it's ready. As you can see, we're going to go ahead. This is enough to feed about two to three people, so we're just going to cut this in half. If you want, you can always make smaller portions. And then we're just going to head slide that on over. We're going to add your sauce, either your tonkatsu or your hoisin if you can't find that. Go ahead and add your mayonnaise. If you don't like mayonnaise, you don't have to use it. It's really good. I know it's kind of an odd combination. Oysty. Well, that's all we have for today. Hope you'll join us next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the right-hand side so you, so you will know about our upcoming videos. Hope you all enjoy. Bye.